Happy Monday video. Hope the holidays are treating you well. And the video might be a little choppier. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. But um, I was tested positive for COVID this week. So as the video progresses, I did get sick. But I feel better. <laughs> I'm not looking better yet, but I feel better. So, hope you enjoy today's video, and um, like and share and comment. And at the end, there is a sensitive subject um, about cruelty to animals. So you might, after I say, you know, this is a wrap, and I love you, you might want to turn it off, and I do begin the next little clip with if it is sensitive you might not want to watch so um just want to let you know that ahead of time everybody have a great day Yay, I got the lead glass that my dad made hung, so that'll be great. I really like it. Thanks, Dad. Love you. I also want to hang this picture today of Sam Elliott. It was an artist drawing. My boyfriend Tim and I had taken a trip out west from Ohio. Um, gosh, I'm not even sure what state we were in. Uh, anyway, it could have been Wyoming. There was an art festival and there was an artist who had chalked this drawing of Sam. And so I bought it and now I'm gonna hang it over and up in that spot which you won't be able to see very well till the Christmas tree's gone but that's okay okay drilled the hole and then put in the screw and now, I'll hang him up, if I can find the little icky. There you go. Awesome. So he will be right there. Hi, Sam. Wow, look how sexy he looks. Okay, this is very easy to make. Delicious and easy ingredients to remember. Christmas cookies. So you put in one stick of butter and one 10 ounce package of mini marshmallows. And you melt those down. And I know a lot of times they'll tell you now to use a microwave just to melt them in the microwave. But I don't have one. So we're going to use a regular stove. And then we've got our cup to measure. And we're going to be measuring out five cups of five cups of cornflakes to put in there. Put some green food dye on it, and we'll have little wreath cookies in a minute.
And there's all the pretty little Christmas wreaths. Mm -hmm. Puppies. Yummy, yummy, yummies. Mm -hmm. Oh, Clovis is crying to go out. There's a cypress over there close to the road I can cut. Or not cypress, probably a juniper. And I can cut that in a couple of days. I think it's going to snow tomorrow. But the ones that are standing, I, I, it's just the ones that I have to gather on the ground. And this was a batch of scrub oaks that I started on last spring. And all of the tall ones were dead, so I'm cutting those out. I should have left a few for later because it's right on the side of the road and I could have cut those if it gets more snow. I feel really bad. I woke up yesterday with my normal aches and pains feeling three times as bad and trying to figure out why. And then when I went out, it had rained, so it was a cold rain or cold wet outside. So I'm like, oh, well, that's why I hurt so bad because the arthritis or whatever. My knees and my hand and my arm. But anyway, so today it's dry and I still feel crappy and hurt bad. So hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. We'll see. There's a little bit more scrub in there to clean out tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be sunny till about noon and then it's supposed to snow. So I shall, I shall get to work on it. <laughs> I've had a sore throat. So I put my little neck thing on that I made, and I will Clovis. No, 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 no. I'll put fix on my throat tonight. That used to always fix me up. So hopefully in the morning we can get out here and get some other stuff. Have a great night, everybody. I'm coming out from where I cut wood, which is across the street, about a half mile from the home. I am beat. Um, I got about half of the truck unloaded that I gathered an hour ago. Um, I'm going to have to rest for an hour. But I still need to cut some of my good um, my juniper wood. I need to cut a little bit of that that's out by the shed. So I'll be out there cutting again at dark because I'm going to rest for an hour. And I have to Put another propane tank on. So I'll be out working in the dark. And then maybe I'll get some rest tonight. <laughs> we'll see. What a great sign. <laughs> this is the county building where I'm going to pay my taxes. And I think that sign should be all over town, like at the red lights and all over the place. <laughs> so I'm in the bathroom at the moment. Well, I had to tie Clovis out by the fence because he won't let anybody near the car. And I'm waiting for the doctor to check my lungs. 
since I have COVID, I'm out in the parking lot. It's a yummy day, yummy meal today. It's got carrots and sweet potatoes without any butter or brown sugar. And there's cooked spinach and there's a salmon piece with lemon wedge and almonds. Yummy, yummy. Well, that's a wrap. And sorry about the bags under my eyes, but I've had kind of a rough week with COVID this week. I was tested positive for COVID and still had to try to get my wood in every night. So I'm feeling better, but I'm not looking too good, but we'll get better. Um, I hope you enjoy the holidays. And remember to like and comment and share on my YouTube, help my channel. And I love you. Everybody have a great week. Now this is a sensitive part that you might not want to watch. Um, it's about cruelty to animals. And I, w I don't like to mention things that aren't happy thoughts. But in respect for the animals that I did see, I just feel like it needs to be mentioned. When I went to the dump this week, somebody had dumped two dogs in the dumpster that I was dumping in. And the girl a couple dumpsters down said there was a dog in that dumpster. I don't know what's wrong with people. You know, one dog was just shivering and scared or cold both. And the other one was kind of, and it was laying down. I don't know, maybe it got hurt when it got thrown in the dumpster. They were kind of a bloodhound mix. And the other one was standing there barking, trying to protect her. They were both females had tits. Um, the one barking was obviously really full, so I don't know what happened to her puppies. But, you know, get a grip, people. The guy before me was telling the guy that runs the gate at the dump, and I looked over at them and I said, Does, do they know there's a dog in the dumpster? And the kid, you know, shrugged his shoulders and said, he says they have to fill up the dumpster with trash before the dogs can come out. And I said, you can put a, you can put a board down. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, my daughter posted it, and there was a lot of people that called the sheriff, including myself, and the dog control, animal control. And the first place I called was the Humane Society, which they were too busy. But And I saw them later you know, with dogs, you know, happy, giving dogs homes at the Walmart, which I wanted to walk over and say, you can stand there and be that happy when there are dogs in torture in town and not help. But I didn't say anything, you know, they've got their agenda. And later they said, the sheriff did call me and say they were on it. And somebody else posted later that they did hear they got them out, so... I just pray that everything's going well for them. And I just got to pray for the world to be more kind. Thanks, everybody.